variations of compactness we have already studied about compact spaces there are other topological conditions of varying strengths which resemble compactness we will be studying a few of them in this section the first type of variation of compactness is countable compactness as the name suggests a topological space is said to be countably compact if every countable open cover of it has a finite sub cover it is obvious that every compact space is countably compact proposition a continuous image of a countably compact space is countably compact assume that x and y are topological spaces and that f from x to y is a continuous function let x be a countably compact space then we need to prove that the image of x under this continuous function f is also countably compact that is we will need to show that f of x the range of x is also countably compact to prove that f of x is countably compact let us consider an arbitrary countable cover of f of x since f of x is a subspace of y there will exist a family say w1 w2 w3 etc such that vi is equal to wi intersection y and wi is opening y using the definition of subspace topology since the family v that is the collection v1 v2 v3 etc covers f of x that is union n varying from 1 to infinity vn is equal to f of x this collection will also cover f of x as the above equation implies that union of sets of the form wn intersection y covers f of x which implies that union wn intersection with y is equal to f of x and hence f of x will be contained in the union of these sets wn also therefore this family of all sets of the form w1 w2 w3 etc is a countable cover of f of x using open sets of y since f is a continuous function f inverse of wn is open in x so if we consider the collection of all sets of the form f inverse of wn then use a collection of open sets in x such that their union will be equal to f inverse of union wn and that will be equal to f inverse of f of x which is equal to x so this collection is a cover of x u is in fact a countable open cover of x now we know that x is countably compact hence u has a finite sub cover say f inverse of w i1 f inverse of w i2 and so on f inverse of w i r then the corresponding sub collection of sets W i one, W i two, etc. W i r will be a cover of f of x, from which we obtain a sub collection V i one, V i two, V i r, which is a finite sub cover of our open cover V. As this collection also covers f of x. Thus, we have proved that every countable open cover of f of x has a finite sub cover hence we can conclude that f of x is countably compact in other words we can say that a continuous image of a countably compact space is countably compact so this completes our 
ഫ്ലോ പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ കൗണ്ടബിൾ കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസ് ഇസ് വീക്ക്ലി ഹെറിഡിറ്ററി സോ ഹിയർ വി വിൽ നീഡ് ടു ഷോ ദാറ്റ് എവ്രി ക്ലോസ്ഡ് സബ് സ്പേസ് ഓഫ് എ കൗണ്ടബിളി കോമ്പാക്ട് സ്പേസ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ കൗണ്ടബിളി കോമ്പാക്ട് ലെറ്റ് എസ് അസ്യൂം ദാറ്റ് എക്സ് ഇസ് എ കൗണ്ടബിളി കോമ്പാക്ട് സ്പേസ് and that y is a closed subspace of it we have to show that y is also countably compact let v equal to v1 v2 v3 etc be a countable cover of y since y is a subspace of x there exists open set wi in x such that vi is equal to wi intersection y for each i element of n then the family w1 w2 w3 will be a collection of open sets in x such that union i varying from 1 to infinity wi intersection with y is equal to y since the collection of sets of the form vi covers y and this will imply that union i varying from 1 to infinity wi intersection with y is equal to y or that y is contained in union of these wi so w as a countable open cover of y using open sets in x now consider the collection w union singleton set x minus y this is also a countable collection since w is a countable collection and we have added only one more set x minus y to this collection to obtain this new collection so w union singleton set x minus y is a countable collection of open sets in x as y is closed in x x minus y is an open set in x since w the collection covers y and x minus y covers x minus y the new collection w union x singleton set x minus y covers the whole space x that is w union singleton set x minus y is in fact a countable open cover of x now we know that x is a countably compact space therefore this collection has a finite subcover from which we will obtain a finite subcover of v also thus we have proved that every countable cover of y has a finite subcover therefore we can conclude that y is countably compact that is in other words every closed subspace of a countably compact space is countably compact or we may conclude that countable compactness is weakly hereditary this theorem gives us a few characterizations of countable compactness in t1 spaces it states that for a t1 topological space the following statements are equivalent first one x is countably compact every countable family of closed subsets of x which has the finite intersection property has a non empty intersection statement 3 says that every infinite set of x has an accumulation point next statement says that every sequence in x has a cluster point statement 5 says that every infinite open cover of x has a proper subcover where a proper subcover is a subcover which fails to contain at least 
one member of the original curve. Proof of this theorem is excluded from our syllabus.